And that was a nice little steam engine located in Ladysmith, Wisconsin on June 23rd, 2017 at 67 degrees and windy. Uh, we're going to be flying down Highway 8 uh, to the end of town and turn around and come back in the other direction. That was sunny until I got to Ladysmith and then uh, the clouds came out. And I'm not going to let that stop me from enjoying this nice little town. Looks like we have a Dairy Queen coming up on the left hand side. And we're coming up in one of the main intersections in town. And on the left hand side we have a quick trip gas station. I've got gas in the motorcycle and car there a few times. And on the right hand side we have a McDonald's. Uh, both places are good places to get gas. And we'll swing this thing around and start heading back towards town. Unfortunately, uh, when I fly through a town, uh, I don't always get to see all the town, uh, mainly because of uh, limitations of jet fuel that I can carry. And signal strength. Now we'll start heading down the uh, Highway 8 here, back into town. Yeah, it looks like on the right hand side there I got a pretty high uh, tower, radio tower. Uh, when driving up north here, um, they've had quite a few storms lately, and uh, there was one area there where I saw a lot of trees that had been blown over. And I believe that's a police station right below us here. And we're kind of headed towards the dam. But my signal is going to limit me. So I am going to turn around. Just 
just to kind of tell you how uh, people up north are, uh, when I was flying, I was uh, standing in a parking lot, and I was uh, kind of way off to the side. Uh, but out of the corner of my eye, I noticed a guy standing there. And uh, then I finally um, uh, said hello to him, and um, I found out I was standing behind his car. And he says, well, he said, uh, are you flying a drone? And I said, yeah. He said, well, I didn't want to run you over. So he was just patiently waiting there while I was flying here. I thought that was pretty nice. Of course, I apologized like crazy, but uh, he said he owned uh, one of the ice cream shops around on Main Street. Unfortunately, I can't remember what he said the name was, otherwise I would have given him a plug. I know next time I come into town, I'm definitely going to look for it and stop there. Now this is kind of an interesting building here. I don't know exactly what it is, but looks kind of neat with a big smokestack up in the air. It seems like this town has had its fair share of storms going through. Uh, there was a tornado that went through one year. But the people are pretty resilient. And I'm coming up on that antenna again. Yeah, that thing's pretty tall. I must be up three, four hundred feet by now, probably four hundred. And you can see the tracks there, they kind of head off in uh, different directions. And once again, this is another nice little town. If you like small town living, uh, this is one of those small towns I think uh, would be a pretty nice place to set up your home. You got a Walmart in the background there. And then we'll take a little look at the river. Now you can see me standing down there right next to that red van. 
that was the one I was blocking. Yeah, that's a pretty beautiful sight. Uh, right straight ahead there, there's a nice little park. And it almost looks like they got a beach there. I see some white markers in the water. And so we'll kind of maybe think about getting this thing back on the ground. So thanks for coming along to Ladysmith, Wisconsin.